Hello friends, so this is in the continuation of the earlier uh, video series that was on RL78 microcontroller and now again I am uh, making a series on the same microcontroller which we had uh, earlier selected and this time the topic uh, will not be GPIOs, it will be timers and uh, how to create a delay function using RL78 microcontroller timers. So uh, going from the very beginning and starting so what I would want to tell you is that first you need to to build the theory part of this topic first we need to understand or undergo the theory section which will be present in the microcontroller hardware user, user manual so you can uh, if you'll open Renesas website there will be this uh, section products and uh, in the section of products you'll have to select RL78 low power microcontrollers okay once you have selected this then you need to go down and the microcontroller series that I had earlier selected was RL78 G14 right so again we are going to go inside of the same so coming on the uh, this page what we are able to see is that you can uh, download uh, data sheet from this page but we require hardware user manual so you can download the hardware user manual from uh, this place and uh, I have already downloaded it you just need to click it and it will get opened in a separate tab so uh, this is the hardware user manual and uh, coming to the chapters of the same we are going to talk about timer array unit okay so timer array unit see uh, the way I am explaining you right now it might not be uh, understandable what I am trying to explain it to you but as you will go along the video you will uh, get to understand what was the objective of the video and everything okay so this is the array timer unit what we are going to use the array timer uh, how we are going to use the array timer unit is uh, something like this uh, in a microcontroller basically uh, yes so if I talk about any microcontroller of G14 series of this pin count 3264 pin count we will be getting unit 0 only and uh, when I speak about unit 0 means basically we are getting 4 timers 4 timers one unit has uh, 4 channels naming from 0 to 3 ok and if you if your microcontroller is above the pin count of 80 or it's 100 so you will be getting 2 uh, timer units see over here it is shown that it's blank you will not get this timer array uh, the timer unit uh, in any microcontroller which ranges from this in uh, which comes in this category okay with this pin count so going forward what we are going to do today is uh, we are going to use the uh, one channel of a of a timer as interval timer so in an in case of an interval timer what basically happens is that suppose uh, we start our timer over here okay and we have uh, programmed our microcontroller in such a manner that after a particular duration of time it is supposed to give us an interrupt so if i program it that uh, i'll start it over here and uh, before starting i have programmed it that after one millisecond it should give me interrupt so uh, when whensoever i'll start it it is going to count till one millisecond and it is going to give me an interrupt uh, over here so this is the basic uh, functionality what we are going to use to create a delay function the delay function uh, uh, I am trying to create similar type of function which we basically get in other microcontrollers like uh, Atmel if you have uh, uh, used so the same kind of function we are trying to recreate but in, in uh, RL78 microcontrollers the Renesas series RL78 microcontroller we do not get a pre-developed functions of delay so we'll have to use one timer in order to develop the same so that is the objective of this uh, session basically so uh, we have understood what is the basics of uh, this that we are going to use our uh, timer as an interval timer now we are going to uh, get into the detailings of uh, how it needs to be done in the software side so uh, in my previous videos I have already showed this software to you which is basically the cube suit uh, yeah CS plus or cube suit plus you can say so so what we are going to do we are going to create a new project over here okay for your convenience so we will be using new project 
project so over here you need to select rl78 microcontroller 